Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be ranking all fruits in update 17 part 3. This will be for both PvP and grinding together, so I'll just like average it out. But if you haven't already, like and subscribe. I'm really close to 15,000 subscribers and when I hit it, I'll be doing a Dark Blade giveaway in my Discord server. Link in the description below. Let's get straight into the video. Alright, so first, starting off with Kilo. Kilo, it's the cheapest fruit, and it's the worst fruit, I'd say. So, bam. Barely usable. Next is Spin. Spin, I'm not gonna lie, I used it, and it's fun to use. It's got a pretty good stun, I'm not gonna lie. And also, the final move auto-aims, which is pretty cool, so I'll put it in not too bad. Chop. The moves are trash, at least it's got a flight, but you can't be attacked by swords and that is the main gimmick of chop. That is why I'll be putting it in the low tier of good. Next is spring. Spring, in my opinion, is just, just bad. I mean, you can jump around a little, but definitely isn't the best. Next is bomb. Bomb got reworked. And it's actually pretty good now. I've seen some people use it against me and stuff like that. And it's not too bad. Next is Smoke. The rework is pretty cool. It's not the best for PvP, but it is very nice for farming because if you hold down the F move, which is the flight, it does damage down below on the ground, which you can just circle around the enemies and continuously do that without them hitting you. So, for that, I'll just put it in good. About, uh, just below chop. Next we got Spike. Spike has also been reworked and it looks great. It's got the Spike Summon, the Spike Barrage, the Spinny Ball thing and the one where you spin it stuns the enemy. For PvP I think it's actually pretty good and for farming it's not too bad at all. Actually I'll just move these two down a bit. Next is Flame. So for all awakened fruit I'm not going to use these down here I'm just gonna count them as the fully awakened version now that I said that my friend has just been playing around with fire for a bit he fully awakened it and stuff and the way he used it is very good so I'll put it in the good next is Falcon Falcon is pretty trash it, I'm just going to have to put it a just above spring in the barely usable. Next is Awakened Ice. Now that, I'm going to have to say is in OP. Not only for farming, because you've got that, the sword that you can use for clicking, but it's also a Logia. Oh, and so are Flame and Smoke. So they're good for farming too. But for PvP, it's amazing. The Awakened Z move can stun people forever and you can just spam your clicks and oh, it's amazing, I love it. Next is Sand. Sand will be at the top of really good because it is, again, a Logia, and it's got some insane stunning capabilities. Similar to Ice, but not as good, I'd say. Actually, I'll put Ice down to the top of really good. Next is Dark. Dark does not have a flight or anything like most Logia fruit, but it is really, really good for stunning in PvP and it's still a Logia, so I'm going to have to put it at really good because it ain't the best for farming. Next is Revive. Revive is kind of like a gimmick fruit, similar to Chop, where the final move you can unlock lets you, once you die, get revived to half health, and you can only use that once per life. It's pretty cool how it can stun people, but it's only got two moves and the flight is really, really short, and it's just like, so I'll have to put it right next to Chop, they're roughly the same, but it's good for a swordsman. Next is Diamond. Diamond, you can like encrust yourself in it and it gives you a higher defense, which is pretty good for swordsmen. And I've seen one person use the Lay and Skypean V3 to be like unkillable in combos, unless it's an infinite combo or something. It's similar to a gimmick fruit, so I'll put it just below chop. 
and smoke. Next is light. Light is great for farming, especially in the first sea. It's got a really fast flight and it's actually really good for PvP as well. I'm gonna have to put it right behind ice. Yeah, that's it. Next is love. Love has some pretty good stun, but it is a really short range thing, so you gotta get them really close to you. So it's not like dark or something. I'll have to put it below flame. Next is rubber. Rubber has recently been reworked as well. The barrage on it is really good as long as they don't use observation to walk out of it. The smash is fun. Slingshot's amazing. I mean, if it actually grabs onto something. Uh, but st still, I'd have to say somewhere in the good. Probably like behind love. Next is Barrier. Barrier has been untouched since its release. So, where do I put it? It's not a low gear. It's not very good for farming. It's mediocre for PvP. I'll have to put it at... I'm gonna put it at barely usable. Next is Awakened Magma. Now, Magma is a powerhouse. It can do so much damage. It's crazy how much it can do, actually. I'll have to put it in really good. I'm just glad I don't see more magmas because they can destroy me. Next is door. Door got nerfed sadly where when you're in your door dimension you can't switch to another weapon or fighting style or whatever just to use that. You have to wait until you get out of it and, and then you can switch which is kind of annoying but it still is a swordsman fruit. You can just teleport everywhere you can go from island to island with ease. It's the best runner fruit, I'd say. And yeah, but it's bad for farming. Like, it's, you should only use it as a utility and not your main fruit. You should use a sword or a gun or something else. Just don't use fruit if you've got door. Next is Quake. Quake is pretty good. I'd say it's above flame. It's definitely very good for PvP since it's just got AoE, AoE, and AoE, like big, big hitboxes and stuff like that. But the farming is just pretty bad because the big hitboxes knock the enemies everywhere, so. Next is Buddha. Now, Awaken Buddha. I'm not sure where I should put this because for farming, I'd say this is the best fruit to use. I'm thinking to put it in OP. You can be like really, really bad at the game and still win in PvP with Buddha because you can either just like run around, chase a person and spam click in your moves and stuff. That's happened to me so many times and it's just really annoying. And the moves do so much damage and have giant AoE. That's if you're using the fruit skill points. So it will have to stay in OP. Next is String. String for PvP is just like mwah great for farming it's pretty good like the x and the z move stun the v move is a very nice move it has giant range and so does the c move actually the c move is just bad for awakened so i use the unawakened one unawakened c move that is so we'll have to put it right around dark Let's say right below dark next is awakened phoenix this is strange. I've seen some people use it, almost no one uses it anymore. It looks pretty cool, but I just don't know what to say about it. Good for PvP, and it's alright at farming, but I'll have to put it around Quake somewhere. Next is Rumble. Rumble, amazing stun. Every move aside from the teleport and the little dragon you shoot out, stun. And it's great even though it has pretty big wind up. So I'll have to put it like right under ice and it's a low gear as well. Well, so is magma. All right, next on the list is Paw. Paw's teleport is the best teleport in the game. It goes pretty far and also it's a frame one teleport. So as soon as you press it, it teleports. It's not like darks where it has a little lag or rumbles or something like that. It's the best teleport in the game. But the moves are mediocre, aside from the torture move, which is really hard to hit in PvP and in 
farming, it it's not too bad, but it's single enemy mainly. I'd have to put it around here. I think it's the top of good, just for utility and stuff. And the torture move again is the best Ken break in the game since it constantly hits for like 10 seconds or 5 seconds or something. It's really annoying to go against and it blinds as well. Next is Gravity. Gravity got a reworked and I'm so glad it did because previously it had a lot of potential and now they brought that potential out. And oh my goodness is it great. The stun on the X move which is the gra gravity dominance or whatever that is so nice and then with the V move the meteor rain meteor shower whatever like if you get grab someone with your sticky trident and then use that and it's straight away the gravity dominance the stun that gets rid of so much of their health it's ridiculous I have to put it r like right there I love Love, love gravity now. I'll do dough after shadow. So, shadow. Shadow is good for farming, like really good for farming, since you can just hold the flight move and it damages enemies that are close. And you can also use that in PvP, which is just really funny to kill people <laughs> and they can't get away sometimes. The Z move is a great combo starter, pairs well with the Yammer Sword. The V move is just amazing it's really hard to escape it especially with the full umbra meter which is something that shadow has pvp it's great grinding it's great i'll have to put it somewhere up here if used correctly can be op and next is doe fruit the awakened doe fruit this came out in update 17 part 3 and it is ridiculously good and i'm not lying when i say that i'm just it's just up there it can be used as a Logia, even though it is a Paramecia, a special Paramecia. So it's amazing for farming. It's got the clicks with really long range. It's got a mobility move that lets you go on water and you don't even need Fishman for it. It's got three combo extenders. The X move is, I think, the best stun in the game, in my opinion anyway. The C move is the combo, ex another combo extender. The V, the barrage, that it's stupid because you can't dodge it with observation or anything. I don't know how the devs let it in the game. That's how good it is. So it's just at the top of OP. Next is Venom Fruit. Venom pretty much counters things where you have to hold it down, like Dark, for example, String, Gravity, what else do you have to hold down? Oh yes, Doe. It counters Doe. It's got three moves. The Poison Barrage thing, the Noxious Shot, and the Poisonous Fog. Toxic Fog. Now, that it's just brain dead to use. I will have to put it just under Doe because Doe is just the amazing. Next is Control. Control, its combos can be pretty good but very hard to pull off. You always have to keep resummoning the room because it either gets cancelled or you can't use your moves outside of the room. It's just annoying to use. It's got a spammable levitate that misses most of the time. It's got the echo knife, which is your basically only combo move, and the gamma rush, which does a lot of damage but r is really hard to hit it's t I'd say it's pretty terrible for farming the PvP it's pretty good but you have to be like really good to use it I have to put it there actually I'll move flame up to three so controls basically just a waste of a fruit next is soul when that s fruit came out it was stupid every move was amazing but they nerfed it now. It's still very good, but not as good as before. So I'll have to put it right above the magma in really good. The C move makes it so you can't have observation and it, it kind of stuns as well. The V move does so much damage and grabs the opponent if you can hit it anyway. The Son of Ra 
is an explosion that you can hold to go further. That's pretty cool, and it sets them on fire. You can even spawn things that heal you, uh, poison the opponent, and grab the opponent if they're staying still. But yeah, it's just the more I think about it, the better, the better it gets. I'm just gonna. All right, next dragon, the previous most expensive fruit in the game. Dragon, the C move, the barrage type thing, the spitting out fire, whatever it's called, firestorm. I don't know. That's a good stun paired with something like sticky trident. It's very nice and dragon talent or superhuman as well. It's just stupid to use and the transformation is just great. All the moves can hit in the air for the transformation aside from the speedy barrage thing because that goes straight to the ground and it's got a grab and stuff. It's pretty good but for grinding I'd say it's all right. Better than all right though. I'll put it right there. And finally, we get to the one, the only, Leopard Fruit in Blocks Fruits. It has a ridiculous price jump from the Dragon, which was 3.5 million, to 5 million belly. It is crazy how expensive it is, but it is definitely worth the price. Like, holy. The Z move has a ridiculous hitbox and it can stun for a bit the x move is all right but it grabs the opponent and it's just yeah it's just all right the c move does a slam which can uh, be used for a movement for up in the air or something the teleport or the dash it's a little slow but it makes up for that since it does damage and a lot of it too and it's a combo extender somehow and then you can just go ahead and transform, which the transform also does damage. And then you can use your click moves, your M1, whatever it is, your left mouse button, your tap. It does three regular hits with pretty big range. And then one raw, that's just really, really big area of effect. Hitbox, and you can just spam it. It's got like no cooldown. It's ridiculous in PvP and all the moves while you're transformed get a bigger hitbox and the C move the lunge thing when you use that while transformed it gives you a speed boost so you can catch up to a mink for example using their ability when you're something like a sharkman or a human or a skypian it is stupidly good for PvP. It is the best in the game for PvP. I don't know why people think it's not as good as Doe. Maybe it's because they haven't played against it, but it's just amazing. For farming, however, if you don't have the transformation, it's just all right at farming, yeah. But if you do have the transformation, you can just spam the clicks and it's like, holy. Because the farming is not the best, I'll have to put it below dough, but the PvP potential is just so good and it just spams all the time. It's better than dough for PvP, but worse for grinding. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.